Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Chetney Stadium for the first home game of the 2022-2023 football season. Chesterfield today in opposition against Aldershot. Harfield going across to take it. Kobe Lyons Foster going up onto the edge of the penalty area. Already up there is Tyler Cordner. Two of the central defenders in the Aldershot team looking to make something from this. And the ball played in and coming in at the back there was number six, Kobe Lyons Foster, who managed to get his head on it but not get any power behind it. Effiong. Chance here for Aldershot. If Effiong can find room for the shot. Well blocked there by Williams and Grimes. The combination of the two blocked any chance of Effiong getting a shot in there on Ross Fitzsimmons. Mandeville. Liam Mandeville plays it in for Dobra. Chesterfield threatening here. Dobra, if he can find a teammate with it. Laid back to Banks. Banks strikes it hard. Good effort from Molly Banks. King takes the throw in. Olicker wants more. Banks with Horton again, right out wide there on the left hand side. Out on that left touch line. Brandon Horton. Dobra wants more. Horton's made a good run. Horton gets the cross in low. It comes through everybody. Jeff King with the shot. Again, well defended. Header on by Effion. Grimes now for Chesterfield. Horton Banks it's a good ball for uh, Dobra T took it well Dobra and making a good run with it as well Mando Dobra in the area almost going all the way it comes down now to Oli Banks Banks with the shot oh great effort from Oli Banks well saved by Ashby Hammond to play from uh, Oleka header there from Glover Glover going again Ryan Glover now trying to set up a chance here the ball played in there Effiong's in there and in here Effiong's headed it just wide I would have put money on him to get it on target but in Effiong has put it wide of the Chesterfield goal that's a real let off for the Spyrites Brandon Horton cuts it inside, that's a good ball through to Dobra. Dobra in the area once more, looking for the shot, he deflected it, comes up Giazzi. And out for a corner, and all the shot got lucky there. Kobe lines faster once more. Willard going down, looking for the free kick, getting nothing from the referee, it's Banks on the ball now, played to Dobra. Good little turn from Dobra there against Davis. Dobra's sent the ball out to the far side. Quigley with the ball in, and Quigley will get another chance for that. Horton to Banks. Looks for King. King's taking it well. Jeff King with a great chance. Oh, and he's put it over the crossbar. Jeff King only needed a bit of a touch on it there. He'd done all the hard work, Jeff King. He'd only got to tap it really into the back of the net. Naughty Davis with the throw. Jordan, all the way back to his goalkeeper. And now Lyons Foster. Oh, caught out there by Mandeville. Giassi on the ball. Now Quigley, back to Giassi. Giassi to try one. And Michael Giassi, Giassi there just over the crossbar. Dobra again battling for that one but uh, Dob well Dobra stumbled over the ball and probably did catch it with his arm and that's what the referee's given a handball and a free kick to Aldershot and that one's caught everybody out there's a real chance here and again just wide this time it was Tom Willard closed down quickly by Davis it goes back again to Ollie Banks Dobra once more finding space Cuts inside, still Amando Dobra, and another good save from the goalkeeper. Great stuff from Amando Dobra. 
everybody up more uh, I think it, yeah Brandon Horton's a little bit further back and obviously the goalkeeper Ross Fitzsimmons but everybody else up and around that penalty area as King takes the free kick it goes back post Quigley's there with the header is he off the line he is off the line by the goalkeeper another great save from Luca Rossby Hammond Chesterfield denied yet again King puts the cross in again this time headed away as far as Banks Banks with the strike and that one straight down the throat of the goalkeeper again but uh, Luca Rashby Hammond has really kept all the shot in this game so far a half time scorer of Chesterfield nil all the shot nil and both teams will feel as though they should have had the ball in the back of the net at some point but a uh, half time score of nil nil and uh, Chesterfield now will kick off the second half playing towards their supporters in the south stand and away we go at the start of this second half referee Andrew Miller and a real chance there straight from the kickoff trying to catch out all the shot by surprise a quick throw out there to the far side to Jeff King Mandeville is ahead of him so too is Giassi this is Mandeville on the ball now Liam Mandeville with space to run the defence here Giassi wants it slotted through the middle it's still Mandeville looks for the head of Quigley and Joe Quigley just puts it wide for Chesterfield King Williams to Banks it's a good ball from Ali Banks Horton could be in here Quigley's in there as well it's going to be a Chesterfield throw taken by Horton Ollie Banks Mandeville did well to keep possession Mandeville he took a deflection but again the goalkeeper with safe hands makes the save so it's Harfield with the ball in no oh, and he's headed off the crossbar I think it might have been Willard that got to that or was it Cordner Partington plays that one forward but it's out of play before Glover can get there it will be a Chesterfield throw in Ah, look what's happening here. Oh, we're on the touchline. A change is being made. Number 22, Michael Giassi is leaving the field. And all in his place is number nine, Kabongo Shimanga. Back after injury, after missing most of last season, or not certainly the last second half of last season, he scored 24 goals in his time last season. And Kabongo Shimanga gets him. Huge round of applause from the home supporters. Banks. Not many options wide. It goes over the top to Mandeville. Mandeville with a chance! Oh, Mandeville with the goal! the ball over the shot there Mandeville made a great run and Liam Mandeville gets his first goal of the season for Chesterfield 64 minutes played and the spotlights are in front it was always coming but it looked it was starting to look like one of those games where you create all the chances and still can't find a way through but Liam Mandeville there slotted that home for the quite a tight angle you've got to say but he put it past the goalkeeper and uh, Luca Rashby Hammond who's had a marvellous game for all the shot beaten on that occasion you'll be disappointed he beaten from a tight angle like that but beaten he was and it was a great effort there from Liam Mandeville Chesterfield won all the shot nil Mandeville Banks plays it in there chance here and a good shot there on target by Shimanga out for another corner good save by the goalkeeper but a great turn there by Shimanga Phillips all the shot committing men forward now the ball into the area cleared by Grimes on by Banks and finally the final whistle blows from referee Andrew Miller it's been a narrow win for Chesterfield in very difficult circumstances